Having metastatic breast cancer the last several years has exposed me to a wide range of different healthcare professionals, ranging from surgeons to surgical nurses, oncologists, radiologists, physical therapists, nutritionists, and even palliative care workers. Most recently, I've been seeing weekly chemotherapy infusion nurses, and they really are my heroes. All, every single one of them has been kind, warm, and compassionate, very easy to talk to about a lot of different things, and I really do truly believe that they care about me and that they have my best interest at heart. Almost a year ago, around the 4th of July, my nephew and his family were at a pool party, and uh, Somehow he fell in and nobody noticed and by the time he, they pulled him out he was in need of uh, CPR and that's where my nurse as a hero story kicks in is there was an off-duty nurse who was also at the party who proceeded to administer CPR for all over five minutes as I understand it until first responders could arrive and take over and put him on life support. Uh, it's so common to have these stories go the other way and thanks to her now, uh, my nephew is able to live, you know, a perfectly normal, happy, healthy life. So uh, nothing can be more heroic than that is when not on duty, uh, making a difference in people's lives. When I was little, people used to ask me if I was going to be a nurse like my mother when I grew up. I had the answer. I was very proud of my mom and the way she looked when she went off to the hospital in her crisp white uniform and nurse's cap. I was fascinated by the bandage scissors she concealed in her pocket and the stethoscope really impressed me because to me that was the status symbol of her, of her being a medical professional. But for all that, I couldn't say yes to the possibility of me actually becoming a nurse. That's because I saw her when she came home from the hospital. She was exhausted. For 45 years, she worked the night shift, and in the beginning of her career, she was often the only registered nurse on duty. She told me that she especially liked working with elderly patients. They were so frail and often lonely. And as busy as she was, she would make time to sit at their bedside, the grandmas and grandpas. When they passed, she couldn't disguise the hurt that she felt. So even as a child, I knew that I didn't have the physical or emotional strength that my mother and all nurses must possess. Growing up like I did with a nurse for a mother, I was in on something that still holds true today. Underneath their scrubs, nurses wear the cape of a superhero and their secret power is to care even when it hurts.